And welcome back. Well, our next guest met on season seven of The Bachelorette. It's JP and Ashley who found love, got married, and now have a baby boy. As a fan of the show, I'm thrilled to be talking to the two this morning. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning, How are Tiffany. You? Good morning. I'm doing great. I'm watching the season right now as well. But about you guys, you know, you guys met, you fell in love, you now have a baby. How's the transition gone for both of you? Well, it's it's been mm. pretty seamless. I mean, it's been a, a pretty eventful past three years. You know, we're just kind of taking what life throws at us, um, trying to enjoy every moment. Like you said, you know, we got married last year, a couple years ago, and we just recently had a baby. So life is life is pretty grand for us. What's I think we're falling into a good rhythm. Uh, the kid is just so, so sweet. And he's, I mean, I'm going to jinx it, but he's such a good baby. It's really kind of hard. Uh, not to just fall in love with him and, and it's been very it's been seamless it's been great yeah what's his name Ford Ford, Ford and Reese Ford cute so cute well congratulations to both of you you know a lot of people are watching the season right now with Chris what are you guys thinking of it last night was quite interesting ah, we, we actually didn't get to see it we were traveling but, um, you know, Ashley has her take, I have mine. I keep saying, I just, I want more drama. I want more train wrecks. I want more <laughs> insanity. Like the first, the first several weeks, is that's what it's all about. And yes, I hope Chris finds love and lives happily ever after. But for now, I want to be, you're know. so selfish. Well, yeah, it, it, well, it's all about That's me. That's what he wants. <laughs> you just want that um, drama. Well, last night there was a lot of drama. He sent two girls home. They both needed to go home, I'll tell you that. But I think overall, yeah. I don't know if he's going to find love. Do you think anyone can find love? I, I don't know if I see it this season. I don't know. I mean, I will say, I think there are a few girls that are flying under the radar that are sweet and sensitive, and they might move to Iowa. So I actually think that he might end up with someone. I mean... I, he's very down to earth and very sweet. And I think there are a couple girls, I think they align pretty well. So we'll see. Hmm. All right, all right. Well, very I know you optimistic. guys want to chat a little bit about cold and flu season. So with a little one, I know you're kind of dealing with some of that this time of year. Tell me a little bit about how you two manage it. Yeah, I mean, this topic has become such a, it's just a hot topic to us because we are new parents and with a young child that's really susceptible and with the crazy cold and flu season that's going around right now and all the illnesses it's it's a really um it's kind of hitting close to home for us so you know we do what we can to keep you know at things contained and to you know keep all the the viruses uh, and illnesses at bay um you know on our flight over here yesterday you can you can <laughs> she proceeded to wipe down all three seats in our row <laughs> The backs of the three seats in front of us, the window. I mean, the, the plane was basically sterilized before we took off. So um, she has gotten, we have gotten very sensitive to it now that we have, have a child. But uh, you know, this we, was another level last night. We keep the, all the, you know, we have all the items stocked in the diaper bag. We have the Pus Plus lotion that I can use on him and use on the baby because it's gentle enough. We have the antibacterial wipes. We have the antibacterial hand, you know, hand gel. So we, we are always fully prepared to keep things contained. Well, smart. You know, I had a, a couple of friends of mine who they were sick and one was saying, you know, you've contaminated the bedroom. So now you have to sleep there. I'm going to sleep in another yeah. room. <laughs> how, how about that? I mean, when you've got a child in the mix, is he still in your bedroom? And how are you dealing with that? Don't even get me started. I've slept on the couch at least a dozen times already. <laughs> and yes. I know there will be more. And yes, those were all cold and potential cold and flu related, not because I wasn't was a bad boy, but um, I am sure there are many more in my future. Well, you have to be more sensitive to it. Yeah. Sensitive to it, you know. With a four-month-old sleeping in the same room as us, we have to really take, you know, appropriate precautions. Yeah. For a lot of new parents who are watching today, what do you think is the best thing to do for Valentine's Day, especially when you've got a little one in the hmm. house? What are you guys going to do? <laughs> we have no we idea. We have no idea. So, <laughs> <laughs> we, we've, we're I, bad. We're bad we're, lovers. We're, no, we're, <laughs> it's just our, our focus has been on him for yeah. the past four months. That I don't even think the two of us realized it was Valentine's yes. Day until like this past weekend. Um, but we have our standard. I mean, I usually cook the same. I have been cooking the same meal yeah. for you every Valentine's Day, yeah. which is a uh, pork chop. Pork chop? No, lamb chop. Lamb See, chop. I can't even remember. 
You know um, what? We're just going to put it in the baby cook, the puree, puree, and feed it to the baby on no. Valentine's Day. <laughs> just joking. Just joking. We'll have a quiet Valentine's Day, cook dinner. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Realistically, we're probably going to spend it with the baby, with the whole family. Why not celebrate love of all different kinds? Oh, you <laughs> It's true. It's true. <laughs> you two lovebirds make me sick. I love it. <laughs> 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 Thanks for joining us on the Morning Blend, you guys, and congratulations to you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tiffany. Absolutely.